r slash ask reddit what is a poor person experience you think rich people are missing out on saving up for months and finally having enough to buy that thing you wanted so much this lifestyle makes researching big purchases much more important and it makes me want to take better care of what i have the absolute joy of finding $20 in the pocket of your coat. They probably still find money in their pockets but I'm guessing it's more of an other than a duck yes. Edit. It. People with something to prove to someone. I'm willing to swap with a rich person if they want to try it out. I will use the money to pay off my student loans even if it kills me. Feeling that accomplishment of finding a rarity at a thrift store that retails at a high price. Yes. You could just buy it for $100 and be satisfied but you ain't nifty like me. Edit. Holy moly a silver. My first. Thank you. Kind redditor. Sticking with a person you love even when you have no idea how you'll turn the electricity back on. My husband and I look back at our times when we struggled financially and see how much it brought us closer. Even now he'll occasionally email me a link to the song even though we ain't got money. I'm so in love with you honey so we don't forget where we came from. Having been on both sides, from growing up eating trash and being homeless to being well off, I would say it's the appreciation of and the joy of being able to buy things. If you watch One Punch Man anime, it's about a guy who can beat anyone with one punch. The guy doesn't feel emotions, no joy, no happiness or fear from fighting. He trained so hard and now is too strong. There's no joy in fighting. There's no excitement. That's kinda how things are. I used to get so excited to go to the grocery store to buy food or being able to splurge off being able to have money left over to get a soda from a vending machine. But now, it's just another purchase. Buying another 80k car is just fine. I scratched up my 40k truck the other day and thought, oh well, I remembered my first POS, Oldsmobile and when I got my first Dording and how it broke my heart. The absolute thrill of getting something paid off. I grew up poor as a kid. My husband and I have good jobs though. We bought a house 20 years ago and when all our friends were moving up to bigger houses, we stayed put and chucked more money at the mortgage. We just paid it off completely. A rich person would never understand how I feel about it. It's ours. No one can take it. No matter what. We have a roof and walls. A safe place to be. Anyone poor who is reading this knows exactly what I mean. Rice and beans. Also eggs and rice. Or just rice with salt and butter. I didn't realize that was poor people food when I was a kid. Even though that was sometimes our meal for like 2 entire weeks before my parents got enough money to switch things up. Nothing quite feels as good as not having money to buy food and then getting it and eating that first meal. That. And reattaching electricity. You don't know what you are missing out on people until you experience it. Amazing feeling. For the record. I'm not being sarcastic. The feeling really is amazing. The struggle recipes. I've made some nice dishes with very little and cheap ingredients. But I have also made some disgusting dishes that made me sick a few hours later. Did you ever go shopping? Adding up the total in your head. But then you get through the checkout only to find you did the math wrong and it's $20 less than you figured? It's somehow better than winning a scratcher. It's like finding a winning ticket on the ground on your way out of the store. God smiled at you sadly and said you're such an idiot. Here's a 20. One thing is for sure. You know who your friends are when you have nothing but your friendship to offer. For sure. A buddy and I kind of rotate being broke. I used to work full time in the winter whereas he hardly worked. Then I didn't work much for the summer due to not getting a contract that summer and he worked full time. We don't ask to borrow money or anything but if I want take out and he doesn't have money. Instead of asking if he wants to go I'll ask him what he wants. I have no problem buying him dinner when I know he does the same. I know we don't need to go out and can just chill at home. This is what the broke person does. But when Mr. Moneybags wants to do something they're the one who suggests it. The broke one puts up a fight because they don't want a handout. But the money person basically makes them. We have also covered each other's bills without asking. It's a great friendship. A perfect give and take which makes helping out the other easier. It feels great when you're the one with money to be able to pay. Even when we both have money we'll take turns paying for stuff. Camping with a small group is more fun than staying in a hotel with the same group. To me, 
The best part is that everything that makes camping cost effective for poor folks is also what makes it so much fun, using state, and national, if you're lucky, parks for your accommodations, cooking food you purchase from a grocery store over a campfire or Coleman stove, sleeping in a tent, hiking and swimming as primary daytime activities, and singing songs around the campfire as nightlife. I grew up backpacking and car camping, and I wouldn't trade those experiences for any 5 star hotels or destinations anywhere. The wide variety of ramen noodle recipes, SP, ramen, and my highest rated comment ever is about instant noodles. An exec level employee of a big company I used to work for once said oh 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 what is that? That smells good when I passed him in the hall carrying ramen. In the brief convo it was clear this was his first time actually seeing smelling just had hot water noodles. That feeling when realize you sold your hair to buy your husband a watch chain only to find out he sold his watch to buy you fancy combs. Living without fear, I grew up pretty poor, I grew up and grew a career, got paid really well, and built my own house, then I lost it all, including the marriage that came along with that success, ended up nearly homeless and could pack my things in a backpack, lived about 4 years like that, completely destitute while trying to figure out my next chapter in life. Today I'm back on my feet. The one lesson I learned is that all my fears I had when I was secure and rich about losing it all were true, but unfounded. Because I survived, I can say I actually thrived having no possessions and nothing and nobody waiting for me anywhere. I'm currently surrounded by rich people and the one thing that I pick up on is the fear all those people have of being poor or losing their status. They're afraid of losing their careers and so they cower to everything. They're afraid of losing their reputation. So they play everything safe. Me? Duck it. I'm not afraid anymore. Feeling like a master chef when you figure out 50 different ways to use rice, potatoes, and beans. Also I dk about you all but I have a very vivid imagination. And whenever I'm hungry and doing chores I like to pretend I'm a medieval scullery maid or a servant woman from the world I'm world building. And it makes me kinda look forward to the boring shit I do all day. Also, chores are nice because that gives me an excuse at the end of the day to either listen to videos or just be in my own head. And I don't have much of a choice but to do that. Rich folks don't have to spend time doing their chores and being with their thoughts because they have domestic workers and are always entertained. It seems. Struggling to make ends meet, my wife and I have had some hard times during the three years that we've been married, and I honestly think that those times when we were struggling together to find ways to pay rent, get food, etc, helped to make us who we are, our relationship is stronger because of it, and we're just better equipped to take on the world than we were when we were first married. It's easier to be green eco-friendly, but in all honesty if you've never walked a mile to Tom Thumb at 2 in the morning with no shoes on just to buy an neon colored drink that tastes like popsicle syrup and a bag of spicy cheetahs, you have not lived. Working up a strong hunger from a day of physical labor, then going inside and having a nice hot meal, nothing will ever taste as good as that meal when your whole body is hungry for it. Poor people party way better, hands down. I grew up really affluent and have been to parties thrown by richer people with ducking gigantic budgets. More dollar signs spent did not turn into more fun. More money being spent meant the party thrower was more stressed about it going well. And the crowd was a lot more likely to include you got a ducking problem bro and secure dipshits. My friends from the wrong side of the tracks and their red solo cup kickbacks were 500x more fun to actually talk to random people. The only rich people thing that can make a party better is a pool and even then a. Eh? How expensive it is to be poor. No shit. Late fee this. Late fee that. Bounced check fee. Overdraft fee. Working a shitty service industry job. And in particular, the sort of camaraderie that comes from working a shitty service industry job. Trenchmates. You might say, I worked several jobs where I felt like some co-workers were practically family after a while, and there's a certain give along get along attitude, or maybe an us against the world attitude, depending on the environment. I don't know that I'm explaining myself well, but I'll say I'm still friendly with roughly a dozen people from those days. Conversely, I now work an office job with a 1% level salary, nobody particularly likes each other, and we only socialize for the optics, 
I do genuinely like my job, but could leave this job tomorrow and not give a shit if I saw any of these people again. I'm not even saying that's a particularly good or bad thing, but it's certainly something I've noticed between people that work in high pressure environments together and those that don't. Knowing the pain that others go through and becoming humble and learning to be kind. Edit. I'm wrong. When I posted this I forgot about Jack Black. Forgive me for my sins. Cup of noodles with chili powder and an egg. If your go to is chili powder, you should try Old Bay and ramen instead. You'll never live like common people. You'll never do whatever common people do. You'll never fail like common people. You'll never watch your life slide out of view. And dance and drink and screw. Because there's nothing else to do. Maybe an odd response. But cooking. I grew up poor and southern. My roommates grew up poor and hispanic. And it was awesome to realize our cooking philosophies were generally the same of duck it. Let's use this instead of scrapping it. See what we get. And we discovered amazing recipes. Generally. Poor people food is the most innovative food. And damn delicious. Especially when you carry that mentality over to quality ingredients and not Walmart brand. The absolute joy of finding a $20 in your coat pocket. $20 to someone with $5 in their checking account means a whole hell of a lot more than it does to someone with $50,000. Being able to properly appreciate the belongings you saved up for a long time for. I remember in around 2002 I saved up for a new computer for what felt like forever. I wanted something pretty nice and I saved and saved. I got a brand new compact with a 20GB HDD and I think 256 millibars RAM with a decent video card in it. I was floating for a month so proud and excited to get home and play on my shiny new super fast computer. Genuine trust. When all you have to offer another person is friendship. You know that they stick around for who you are. You are in general a more sympathetic human. The joy of being able to buy vegetables and proper food. Putting off breakfast and lunch because you only have enough food in the house for dinner. Not feeling any pull whatsoever to try keep up with the Janises. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.